As we talked about low latency, what are we talking about? Are we talking about contribution? Are we talking about all of us working together on content in real time? Or are we talking about distribution? I think there's three different pieces where, where that's key. Some of the questions we're getting are, as far as the contribution side, how can we use WebRTC for encoder workflows and high quality workflows? You know, and, and how can we add the interactivity piece like we can in Zoom while still retaining the broadcast quality that we want in the contribution side? I think what you're seeing a lot of is WebRTC is doing a lot on that side from a client SDK side and trying to build that workflow, those workflows into encoders. The, the, the other part that I think is very compelling is the actual um, using the cloud as the mixer for now doing these, these new advanced workflows. You know, we, we had Bird Dog as a sponsor, right? And, and congratulations to them. They went public on the Australian Stock Exchange uh, about a month ago. Um, and with Bird Dog, obviously they're doing NDI, but we helped, we worked with them actually to do an NDI to WebRTC transmixer so that people could now mix NDI bird dog cameras in the cloud using WebRTC and then distribute over a WebRTC CDN. And then there's that part, which is a distribution part. And I think, you know, obviously I'm pitching WebRTC here. I think WebRTC can be used end to end for contribution, mixing and distribution, keeping the native um, protocol end to end. I think the beautiful thing about WebRTC is that it is by default, you know, over UDP, it prioritizes latency over anything else. It would rather drop packets than, than take any more time. And I think as people talk about SRT or they talk about, you know, other HTTP protocols or even RTMP, these are TCP protocols that actually try to mimic, especially with SRT or Zixi, they try to mimic um, the resiliency of TCP, but while still, you know, trying to act like UDP. The reality is if you want speed, you've got to drop packets on bad connections or find a way to adaptively uh, adapt the encoding at source and that's what WebRTC does natively so there's something beautiful about that workflow that I think you know um, and then I think as, as WebRTC kind of matures um, now people are building broadcast quality tools around that um, to actually do the contribution side as a way to replace it.